Hello friends, uh, we are at it again today. Uh, uh, we want to discuss, uh, I don't want to take much of your time. I wanted to discuss uh, discuss about uh, this very switch. This is a switch. This is a switch. This one. 2960. That's what I want us to discuss today. And what is the problem of this switch? You can see here, uh, when you plug it here, you see the indicator. The indicator doesn't show, but you see that the fan is spinning. That's the problem. It has a problem. And uh, it doesn't show anything when you plug it, only the fan is spinning. And today, uh, what I want to uh, tell you today is how to fix it and uh, get it back to work. That's what I'm going to show you right now. Actually, I've uh, taken away from some knots from it. I've taken away some knots from it. You can see some. Uh, I've taken away some knot from it. Uh, put them back. No, it's a remove the swell. I've unscrewed it. So, I want to use this one and show you an example. Uh, let me remove this as well. Because I still have one knot here. One screw here. Remove it. Okay. And I slide it open. Yes. Open. Okay. This is the inside of the switch. Inside of the switch. You can see. This is the inside of the switch. So I put my power on, plug the power cable at the back. You can see just look at this place. Just look at this place. You see the fan spinning. Fan is spinning, but uh, you can show any light in the in front. See fan is spinning. I've removed it again. See the fan stopped right now. You can see just looking at this place. Fan is spinning, but uh, it doesn't show anything here. At this indicator here. So I want I want to show you how to fix this issue uh, right now, right away. So what you would you do? You have to uh, put on this machine, this machine here. I put it on. It's now on. Actually, this guy is the problem of the switch. So before you do anything, you have to what? You have to unplug the power. You have to unplug the power first. And uh, this guy, this guy here, this RAM, I'm going to close, closer. This guy's RAM, the RAM is having some uh, problem. But uh, we want to re rejuvenate the RAM, to resuscitate it again. Uh, because uh, sometimes what actually causes this is. Uh, when a, a product has been kept on, like you know, electronics uh, for a long time without use, sometimes they can, uh, you know, can come out sick. So let's do it this way. Uh, I've unplugged the power. There's no power. See the power cable? I've unplugged the power. So let's get to work.
it's, it's hot. It's very hot right now. You don't plug it like this. You don't pour it through power like this. Actually, it's super, supposed to reduce the, the temperature. And this thing I'm doing here, um, this uh, heat gun can do it as well. If you have a heat gun or hair dryer, hair dryer can do it as well. So that is it. So let me plug it again. Let me know whether I power is back. Uh, you check the temperature of the the, the RAM now is uh, has come down. It doesn't it doesn't have to be very hot because if it's hot and you plug it is another problem. So okay, let's check this. Um, let's check it. So you can see the uh, the the light is back. You can see that. You can see that. So when so, such thing happen like this, in this kind of switch, see the number. Uh, let's see, two nine six zero. Just know that um, you have to pick this guy. This guy is responsible. This guy here is responsible for that. See this guy here. He's not responsible. Okay, so thank you. It's on and booting number. You can see that. Thank you. You can.